Coming up next, our main event, a matchup for the UFC middleweight division title. Now, whether you're a boxer or a mixed martial artist, you want to compete at Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena, and dating to 2016, a lot of the UFC's best have gotten that opportunity. Absolutely, J.A., and when you grow up as a fighter, especially a heavyweight, it is your dream to headline MSG and fight for the heavyweight championship in the world. I got that honor, and I can almost feel the ghost of Muhammad Ali Joe Frazier, all those great fights those guys had at MSG, I felt as if, oh, oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. Oh! Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you've got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a control posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes with your foot. Really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, you see. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Three minutes remain in the round. 36 total strikes have now landed for Luke Rockhold. Misses again with a right punch. Oh, huge block! He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. Gets on the feet, his opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Katie Velasquez's punch of choice. Changes levels now, DC. Oh, man, he was in a single, got to a high punch. Oh. Oh, deep, flips him over the top. What a huge takedown. I mean, do I survive that, or did no, I read John, my last run? Absolutely right? not. You don't survive that. It's <laughs> over. It's over, John. Now, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Under a minute to go in our opening round. Rockhold's got his head looking for a guillotine chip. Oh, nice guillotine there. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, we might have got him with a choke. Oh, he lost it up there. Wow. Chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the hot one. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. Now let's go. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. And maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Beautiful strike. He hurt him. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Whoa! Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages.
So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at 57 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout and new USC middleweight champion of the world, Luke Rocco. Well, we are still digesting this result tonight. I barely got a voice, but we do have a new...